In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a floor reflection here in Adobe After Effects. So once you have your work done that you wish to have as a floor reflection, all you need to do is bring in a texture layer. So it could be of anything, a wall, a floor, any, anything that you can find on a search engine like this image right here. What you're going to do is you're going to bring this into your composition underneath your main elements, right? So we want this title glow to reflect on our floor. So what we're going to do is take our floor texture and we're going to turn it into a 3D layer. And we'll hit R on our keyboard for rotation. We'll come here to the X rotation and set it to 90 degrees. Okay, then we hit P on our keyboard for position, bring down the Y value until we have a good, you know, lower third section of the composition filled up. You might need to hit Shift S for scale and scale up your image depending on the size. Uh, but once that's in there, what you're gonna do is take your floor layer, go to Layer, Pre-Compose. We'll call it Floor, Move All Attributes to New Composition. Then we're going to Hide Our Floor Layer, and then we'll take the element that we wish to reflect off our floor, which is going to be our title right here. I'm going to go to Edit, Duplicate, and I'll take this layer, I'll bring it down, and we'll go to Layer, Transform, Flip Vertical, and I'll reposition it. And we'll make sure this layer is below our original title. Then we'll go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, put this adjustment layer between the two titles in my case. Then we'll go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and grab a Compound Blur. We'll change the Blur layer. Uh, to our floor and you can already see that we're gonna have this texture coming through here One thing you may need to do is, since you're gonna have this cut here is to just lower the bottom text here Or the graphics that you're using and with the compound blur you can adjust some of the settings as you see fit So for example, we can adjust the maximum blur uh, and that will adjust the blurriness of the floor You can lower it if it's too much you can of course check on invert blur and that will give you a completely different look But I usually like the default settings, but you know you go ahead and experiment with what works for you But this is a great way to create a floor reflection here inside of after effects with any title or graphic that you're working with If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in after effects and premiere pro Check out our links below to get access to our motion duck extension Which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project within seconds.